Um, side projects for myself, no, I'm pretty focused on just doing this right now. But um, one-off stuff, yeah, I mean, there's a bonus track on our album that I sang with Z from The Like. Uh, we covered an Everly Brothers song, and that you can find that. One-off stuff, yeah, I'd be totally down for if anybody wants to call me, I'm, I'm home. Um, but yeah, side projects, at least for me, not, not at this point. Um, I mean, with record sales going down, it doesn't discourage me. It definitely hurts bands and artists, um, because with touring now, you know, people aren't touring as well either. So yeah, I mean, it's not discouraging. It's not like if you don't go platinum anymore, it's like you didn't have a big record. It's just hard to gauge the scale on, you know, how many records sold now is equivalent to platinum five years ago. I don't know. Um, the only way you can really tell is if people are coming to your shows and they're are excited about the music. You don't even know how many people bought it or downloaded it, but the people there are there because they want to be. Um, well, I wish I could play a couple of different ones. Um, I, I wish I could play drums. I don't think I would be a drummer, but it would be nice to be able to I'm trying to show a drummer an idea that I could even do it at all. Um, and I'm going to get a piano in the house too and start picking that back up. I used to be able to play a little bit and I haven't in a while, so probably those two. You know, songwriting, is I've never looked at it as like, well, this is for this project, so it's got to sound like this, and this is for this. Um, when we started this, I just, it was just an evolution of my songwriting, just as it has come from for the past couple of years. It wasn't like, Oh, we're starting this, so we want to sound like this kind of a band. Um, granted, I got to do a little bit more, uh, had more freedom with this project, and being singing lead and, and things like that, and the way the sonics of the album sound, I guess, maybe uh, we looked at differently. We pro uh, played it live mostly, and uh, with minimal miking, and kind of made it sound gritty. Um, when we started the band, uh, it wasn't really much different because uh, John and I had been writing together for a couple of years prior to this. Um, when, we've, when we found the other guys, it was, it was pretty natural as well. We didn't really have rehear or, um, tryouts or anything like that. Everybody that we met, we met through friends of friends. Or John had known Andy for years, and so it was... Uh, it was pretty organic, I guess, the way the, the entire group got, got together as well. Uh, well, some of the differences from major and indie labels is uh, when I call the indie label, they answer the phone. <laughs> um, it just seems more personal, you know? People know you by name over there, and when you can't really trust people in this business, it's nice to have that. Well, I'm listening to all kinds of stuff. Um, uh, these girl group compilations called Girl Group Sounds, Lost and Found, just like four discs of stuff I never heard. Smokey Robinson, you know, um, uh, Jackie DeShannon, um, all those Nuggets compilations. Whatever Joe Meek produced, I've been digging into. Um, how much time do you have? <laughs>